Hi, I'm Nick, and in this tutorial we'll be looking at video and video players and video formats and switching between them and getting them to work. Because I don't know about you, but I often come across a problem just like this. Here's a video that someone sent me of stupid kittens playing on the stairs, the sort of thing that uh, I receive every day for some reason. And if I open it up into Windows Media Player, I get stupid messages. The selected file has an extension that is not recognized by Windows Media Player. It's a .mov file which is common on the Apple platform. Do I want to try and play the content? Yes, please. Acquiring codec. Codec acquired. Oh, look. Lovely kittens playing on the stairs. Except it isn't, is it? It's just lots of coloured lines moving up and down. That's Windows Media Player for you. Okay, well this obviously isn't going to work. Now, I do know that this will work because uh, QuickTime is the Apple software which Apple use to play .mov files. And there they are, some lovely kittens playing on the stairs. Oh, aren't they cute? And they've got a little ball. Oh, how cute. Oh, no, there's three of them. Anyway. Now, it doesn't seem very useful that you need to have a different video player depending on which particular file format you want to use. And that's why it, at PC Answers we recommend VLC Media Player because it comes stacked up with all the different codecs for all different types of file formats and different encodings and basically you stick a file in it and it just plays. It might not have all the finesse of something like Media Player. Um, it doesn't have lots of different skins and doesn't look quite so good on the screen, but it will play your movies. They will just work. Which is a good thing. Okay, so VLC is a very good thing, but let's assume that we can't force everybody in the universe to start using VLC Media Player. What other options are there? Well, obviously we might want to convert it. Now, one of the best ways to convert it, if it's a small file, so you don't have to download lots of software and do it yourself, is to use a web service such as mediaconverter.org. Now as long as it's a small file under 100 megabytes, you can simply upload it to the site. So you have to select upload a video, click on browse, find the file I want. There it is, kittens on the stairs. Go to the next step. I would like it to play in Windows Media Player, which uses uh, WMV as the native format. And I'll just call it Kittens. Now this could potentially get a bit tricky, um, where you change various options like the audio codec and the video codec. I'm going to use WMA for the audio, because that's what media player uses and I'm going to use WMV version 2 for the video codec and I'll leave everything else the same. Normally you can just leave these as, as default and media converter will just choose the most sensible options depending on the file type that you've chosen. Next step and what's happening now is the file is being uploaded to the media converter servers and it has been converted, that was quick and I just have to click on this button and I will save that file to disk and look it's finished already that didn't take long at all okay I'll hide Firefox now and there's my kittens file and let's try that again, I'll just put it into Windows Media Player just thinking about it 
And look, lovely, adorable kittens playing with their ball on the stairs. Now everyone is happy. Okay. Okay, if you did want some software to do the job, um, Microsoft actually make available a Windows Media Encoder software, uh, which which wouldn't have been much use in the first instance because .mov files are the are the one file type that uh, Microsoft refuses to recognise. However, now that now that we have it in a .wmv file, we can convert it to pretty much anything else. So we shall go to the Microsoft website and download it. Microsoft com ah, let download. There we go. And here we go. Search all downloads for encoder. Windows Media Encoder. There we go. Now, as with many Windows downloads these days, you may get a, a pop-up or another message suggesting that you need to download a plugin for, for Firefox to check that you're running a genuine version of Windows. We have already installed that plugin previously and I suggest if, you, if you're going to download a lot of things from Microsoft website you do also. So we will now continue. And download. I will choose to save that file. Unfortunately I'm on a fast network so it's only going to take a couple of seconds. And there we go, it's finished downloading and there it is. I'll just install this software. Uh, this says repairing. Don't be confused by that. Uh, I think Windows Media Encoder was maybe already installed on here. But I'm taking you through the install process anyway just to show you how easy and quick it is. Now we go to the start menu. We should see Windows Media Encoder has been installed. Okay, this is a new session and we want to convert a file. source file will be our kittens file and we want to output to kittens to the SQL. Now here we have some different options depending on how we want to distribute the video. Obviously, various factors control the size of the video and how quickly it can play back on different devices. So, for example, if you wanted to convert it to use on a, on a mobile device, you would pick Pocket PC. Standard video and standard audio for Pocket PC should be OK. And as you can see here, it's going to be scaled down to a small size, so it will work on a mobile device like a phone. I don't want to add any metadata or additional information for the file. 
So I'll just click finish. And off it goes. And off it goes again. And there we go. It's done. You play the output file. So it looks pretty much the same, it's just a bit smaller. Okay. And that's media encoder. And if I open up the properties of that file and the original, you can see that it's a tiny bit smaller in size as well, mainly because the frame rate and the actual physical size of the video were scaled down. So that's Media Encoder. And the last thing I'm going to show you in this tutorial is another website, redcala.com. This is another website where you can download video converters. The difference here is there are very specific video converters. Uh, I'm not going to download any of them, but if you happen to have an iPod, or a PSP, or a Wii, or an iPhone. You can download a specific converter that will convert pretty much any type of video file into a format that is guaranteed to work on those devices. So it's very useful if you're creating video and you want to be sure that it, it's going to work on a particular device. Say you were doing a, a podcast type thing and you wanted to make sure that it worked on an iPhone you could use one of these converters. Okay, uh, obviously you just click on the on the one you want, and it, you go to the page for that particular converter and download it. So that's another useful site to, to go to. And that's about it for this time in the confusing world of video file formats. I hope you've learned something useful, if if nothing else, that you should download VLC Media Player. And I guess this is a subject we'll probably be returning to again sometime.